Hello, hello, hello everybody. How you guys doing? I am so sorry I didn't get a video up earlier. It's been extremely busy lately. So I hope everyone's had a wonderful holiday and um, Day of the Dead, Memories of All Souls Day, and Tomorrow's All Saints Day. Um, it's been very meaningful for me after the loss of my mom and my sister. Tomorrow is actually the anniversary of my sister's death. So I've been kind of dealing with all those emotions coming up. And then, you know, it's always something, isn't it? Um, so what's been going on? I'm kind of at a plateau with my ALS. Um, my gait is still pretty unsteady. Um, my little one uh, was in a volleyball. She's doing, she's doing, it's her choice. She wants to do volleyball. So we had a league that she's been working with and I was, they made the playoffs. So last Friday I was bringing a drink for her and a drink for my husband who's doing the score um, keeping. And I was just like right in that area, there's the net where the um, scorekeeper and from each team is on the side, just past the net right before there. Um, I got hit by two volleyballs in the head. You know, I did have hands full, so I couldn't block them. One was from a young man that is, has an arm that's awesome. He later apologized to me, but um, it hit me right about here and stunned me. So I have symptoms of a concussion. So forgive me if I trip on words at all. Um, still working on that. The headache has gotten a little bit better. The dizziness is a little bit better. Um, hopefully that does not progress my symptoms. I was warned about falls and anything like that. Being a genetic ALS patient, um, the repair parts with C9 or 72 may not repair the tissue properly, right? There's hope for neuroplasticity, <laughs> access other parts of the brain. Um, so I can remember this time last year you know, a couple hours, you know, basically 12 hours from now, um, I was driving in to get, um, I was in the clinical study for the Koya, and I was going to get the doses, and I got a call from my brother-in-law that told me that my sister had passed away. I remember waiting um, in the um, research part of uh, Houston Methodist, and um, telling them that I needed to go. So I got the medicines and then drove way out, out there before they picked up her body. And um, with my history of being a hospice nurse, I was able to be there with my nieces and see her before she was gone. So I don't believe that love um, dies because it's an energy. I don't believe that, you know, she died on All Saints Day and she was the kindest person I knew. So I know that whether she's in heaven or wherever you go when you die, she's okay. You know, it's just one of those things I had a, talking with my baby sister. We're the only ones left of my, um, our origin family. And, you know, came across a picture and it's kind of like, I feel for her because I have the ALS and even though I've been amazingly preserved in many ways for four years, you know, it's just a matter of time that that could happen. I went and saw my pulmonologist uh, about two weeks ago and, <laughs> you know, I, the, the CPAP, you know, I, I have irregular sleep sometimes. And I'll fall asleep, you know, watching a video or reading a book and I don't put the CPAP on. So, you know, for insurance to pay it, you have to put, wear it more often. I had gone on trips and left the CPAP because I was afraid of losing it. And, um, you know, checking baggage now is, you know, expensive. <laughs> so um, I need to do that more. But it was interesting because he told me, well, you know that you need to get used to it because things will progress. And... After having some people like, oh, you know, because of the way I look sitting down, you know, oh, you have no problems. Oh, you're fine. Oh, this and that. 
And it's, you know, just having someone say the reality to me that, you know, you will progress. This is not permanent for you to be okay. And I know that. I just don't want to go anytime soon because I'm needed now. Like you have control, I don't. Oh my, so it's been busy. Um, you know, running with the volleyball with the practices and that and doing the meditations. I know my meditation wasn't that great. It was one that I was hurried doing because it was something to do. It was my husband's birthday, that's what it was. <laughs> Um, oh my, had to run and um, got his um, special pie. You know, we kind of, I have a per my birthday's in two weeks, so I love, 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 love this um, yellow cake with chocolate from Tree Beards, which is absolutely delicious. Um, and I found him, you know, he likes pies. He's my oldest. You know, I can't believe that they both prefer to have pies versus cake. Teach their own. On uh, a birthday, you should be able to have what you want. So I went and drove half across Houston and found a state pie, and it was delicious. Probably the nicest apple pie I've ever tasted. Homemade slices of apples. He loved it. So it kind of make him feel special. You know, it's you know appreciation of people that really make a difference. And I did marry a very kind man. So I did that, his birthday, and then, you know, Kind of the weeks with the volleyball and doing, you know, going around, um, spending some time with my best friend. My um, second mother is in the process of dying, which is hard. Uh, she is the last parental person that I have. Um, sad. Yeah. Life is one of those things. You know, it's just kind of been just a difficult time so that's why I haven't been putting up as many videos um have another family member that's dealing with some stuff that's di very very difficult and trying to be a support so <sighs> feeling like a little bit like the Dutch man holding things together you know it's kind of one of those things it's like okay so I have ALS I am not as strong as I used to be um you know even looking at my makeup from last year Halloween to my makeup this year Halloween you know, I need to get some new brushes, but I can see that my manipulation and my fine motor skills are getting worse. As a uh, former, well, I'm still an artist. Even if I can't make it beautiful, I can still do it. Um, it, it you know, when you have an inner critic, it makes it really hard. Um, but I just looked at that and I was like, wow. You know, I almost took an exact picture of myself and my husband um, last night on Halloween to, um, you know, last year's Halloween. And I can see just by little things that it's not exactly right. But hey, you know, I've got four years in and I can still put makeup on. That's pretty cool, right? Um, there was the ALS walk. Unfortunately, I had um, a lot of spasticity on that day. Uh, I had, you know, almost a spastic crisis. Thankfully, with the medications, I'm on gabapentin, a higher dose, 900 milligrams twice a day and 1200 bedtime. And I'm also, I have um, Valium, a uh, small dose, if it gets really bad. So I, it's just weird how it goes. I know I'm starting to weaken because I'll have points where I'm walking and I'm getting close to falling. Um, I'm going to have to get a different walker because it, um, my center of balance isn't right with that. I have short arms. My maternal granddaddy was almost 6'6", six, six, and my grandma was 5'11", or I mean, sorry, 4'11". You know, really, big difference. So I have his shoulders, and I think I have her arms, because I do have her hands. So tall person um, with short arms. Yeah, I used to be... 5'10". Um, I'm now 5'8", so I've lost two inches in my thoracic spine with uh, my scoliosis. And I mean, you know, you have a disease like ALS, it does affect the way you look. I have tried a new contouring, which I think helps with seeing the part of my face that is kind of the muscles have fallen. 
Um, you know, my legs, my left leg is atrophied more, so, you know, it's not, my calves aren't exactly the same, and uh, I don't let it bother me as much. I mean, facial does kind of bother me, um, but I know that as I weaken, my body will change, you know, from when I have spasticity to where my hands are. Um, I've just got to accept it. You know, it's kind of like the things you can do. You know, it's like, can't control everything. I don't think, you know, what I can control. It's like, <laughs> you know, you have something like ALS. It's like, yeah. you know, you might think you have control. You have wants that you can do, but you can't guarantee you can do them. Uh, you can try. You know, there's so many different ways you can try to do things. Maybe not the first way. Maybe there's a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. And you try to do things just as much as you can. So, um, I know my time for walking is getting more limited, um, but I'm going to keep going as much as I can. You know, I, I when I was in nursing, the uh, Dorothea Orm was the um, <sighs> nursing theory that one of my nursing schools were in self care. You know, self, if you can use it, do it. You know, you want the person to be able to function. So, you know, I will try to do as much self-care as I can and keep moving. You know, if you use it, you don't lose it. I'm going to lose it. But I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. So that's going ahead. So I was kind of sad about missing the um, walk. Um, I didn't bring in the money anyways for a team, so pandemic. I mean, you know, this, it's the pandemic's almost over. We still have people getting COVID and this new one's not very nice, but inflation. I mean, just think about the Halloween candy. You know, there was like 13% inflation on Halloween candy and I bought some. I had so many trick-or-treaters last year and there were, I think I had 32 trick-or-treaters. So I had a lot of candy. So I think for my daughter, my youngest teachers are going to get a lot of candy and, um, cups for Christmas uh you know people are saying you can donate it here you can donate it there I think I will try to do things you know creatively with the candy we'll figure it out um I don't know I mean it's just you know my little one was with her friend and my husband my husband and um her redid um a picture of when she was two she was Princess Leia and he was Darth Vader and she was Princess Leia this year, and he was we, Darth Vader came back, and her little friend um, I was needed help with her makeup. So you know, if anything, I know how to make fake blood look like it's real blood. <laughs> if I hadn't been a nurse, I would have been in special effects, um, the spooky stuff. So I had a lot of compliments. Um, I made Michael out of a um, previous um, Halloween thing I had. Um, Banshee, this, ban this mask that I had made into a thing, um, was down. But it seems like I notice every Halloween with the year that it goes through, that some of my creative art that comes out kind of expresses, you know, I put my fears out into different things. So I made Jason and, um, I found some really cool tombstones, so those, that's my advent. So I didn't go all the way out for ho for the decoration. Um, I say that, and you know, the heavy lifting stuff is my husband, it's not me. But I was able to locate everything I wanted, which was nice. It's one of those nice things. So Thanksgiving is coming. Um, my birthday's coming. I'm finishing my kitchen. Yay! Oh, that's been a struggle. It's getting things to where if I'm in the chair that I can actually, you know, go around while I can use my arms um, and just make sure space is proper for the power chair. Um, you know, it's just we've lost a lot of people that were advocates for um, ALS. Um, Addie passed away today. Um, Healthcare should be a right. 
Now you think about it, when people are now diagnosed with ALS, they get, um, once it's confirmed, you know, me, I had to have them, they had to go through and make sure the doctors, <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, are you sure you have ALS? Please, I would prefer not to have it. Um, but being able to have the care and get the insurance um, and SSDI right away is pretty awesome. You know, that makes a huge difference. Because those of us that are on SSDI and um, Medicare, you know, it's like, the thankfully the insulin, I'm a diabetic, is now less, but with all the inflation, it makes it difficult. So, you know, it's like, I'm not surprised I didn't raise as much money, you know, so those of us that are in this um, inflation period, you know, it's harder to actually function. So, um, just happy that um, I did raise some money, so thank you guys that donated. And happy that um, I'm looking forward to next year. So Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving first, because there is a holiday between Christmas for those of us in the States. And Christmas, which will be little, um, have so many, you know, taxes and HOA and this and that, you know, nice letters to January 1st. So it's like, okay, <laughs> get that done. Um, I don't know, just kind of in that holding period with my symptoms of ALS, um, having more instability in walking. Uh, it's kind of, I noticed like after I got hit, um, even before that, you know, it's like I, if I'm having the spasticity, my walking is really, really unsteady. I'm at risk for a fall. Um, but I don't want to not use the muscles. I don't want to not do my physical therapy exercises because I don't want to get frozen. Um, but I'm sure the little accessory muscles get tired of having to pull the big things. Um, but since after I got hit, it's almost like when I'm walking, I'm walking to the side. It's like I'm not quite centered. So um, I've been trying to do the physical therapy, physical therapy exercises, um, vestibular exercises that I did after I had um, the post-concussion uh, syndrome before my um, actual diagnosis of ALS. And I do believe that having two car accidents, one was a head-on, one was, um, I was rear-ended and I was turned like this when I was rear-ended and it messed up my cervical spine and it also um, gave me one heck of a um, concussion. I never knew rear flash was real, I, know, I really didn't. But um, that predated my ALS, and I think because of the fact that I have genetic ALS, that the tissues did not heal properly, and that's when I had the onset of symptoms um, eight months later. So it is not fun, and I'm kind of worried after having, you know, can't help it. I mean, what are the odds of being hit by two volleyballs in 30 seconds between to the head. Um, just glad I didn't fall. You know, you have to look at the positive things. But it was sweet because my best friend and her family came to watch um, my little one play and they got silver. Isn't that awesome? But the way they did, they had two, one team won one, one team won another, they had the playoff. You know, they had a third game to get to 15. Each game did that. So these kids, came in at six and the ceremonies for um, the winners didn't happen until almost nine o'clock. So those kids were um, best and bottom, you know, it was sweet. We went to um, Olive Garden afterwards and had a nice, just a nice thing. It's like one of those little really sweet things and then all hell happens again. <laughs> Oh, all I can do is be calm and um, 
try to keep myself calm through it. Uh, I did um, some EFT. It's like the tapping. You know, that just to try to, to regulate myself with um, having a family member going through extreme um, struggles. And you just love people. I mean, that's one thing. My heart. Um, I care very deeply. And I think that's probably a lot of ALS patients. I mean, it's known as the nice man's disease. Um, I'm a woman, though. So, that's it. I mean, we'll see how this progresses. We'll see if this... Um, hit to the head uh, does much more. I mean, hopefully I can stabilize again. Uh, try to prevent any falls. You know, I just need to find a um, walker that is comes up higher. <laughs> you know, try to get like you know the one I have. You know, you can put bigger wheels on it, but it's still center balance is off. Yeah, so we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. It's just. ALS is an expensive disease, and this is an expensive time, so here's hoping I can eke through. You know, we're all going through it. We really are. Um, I don't know. I'm just <sighs> taking a day to enjoy. It's national um, men making dinner night. So my husband grilled some chicken and made some broccoli, and it was a lovely dinner. It's, it's nice, you know, trying to find those little pieces to appreciate in between, you know, whether it be a beautiful um, clouds and sunset, um, you know, the kids in costumes, um, just, you know, and it's now my birthday month. Um, I can get that lovely, lovely yellow cake with chocolate icing and, um, yeah, you can have a little party, which is nice. I will be 49 this year. You know, here's hoping I'll make it to 50 and beyond. <laughs> but it's neat. I mean, I'm just thankful that I do have a slow, slower progressing. Um, I'm thankful I can still talk. Uh, you know, I'm just really blessed. And, you know, once I get through this rough patch and help my family member get into a stable position and the rest of the stress, I mean, I'm saying this more about going to holidays. <laughs> Here's hoping, right? Um, we will get through this, you know. And it's just keeping the heads up. Next year will come. And I have a feeling things will get better. You know, they get always get worse before they get better. You know, it's I know it's difficult in the world right now with what's going on um, around the world. You know, I just wish everybody safety and into strife and war and, you know, that. Um, you know, try to do small acts of kindness when you can. You know, at least I try to do that. Uh, pray, um, chant, you know, find the beauty, you know, put out the good stuff. You know, I think if you put little bits of good in the world, you know, I think it really does kind of shift and make a difference. It does. Um, so thank you for watching this video. And oh, one other thing. I just remember, guess what I get to do next week? I'm going to be a human book. Um, I am a gun violence survivor and I do speak out about certain issues um, related to domestic violence and people that end themselves. So I'm going to be sharing my survivor story for that. And I don't usually mix it with my ALS story because it is something different. I mean, you know, it's kind of two difficult things and out of it all, I'm a survivor and thriver. Um, I know that I do this to make a record for my family and my kids. And if it helps anyone else, hey, that's awesome. 
Um, but that's kind of why I tell my gun violence story too, because the little bits of any information, if it can ever go out into the public to help, that's what counts, you know? Um, but at least I get to be a human book. At least I still have my voice. So that is what I am doing. Um, gonna do a nice day with my best friend tomorrow. Just trying to, you know, keep company. You know, it's kind of like, you know, try to do my physical therapy, find the little balances. Cause when you're helping someone else, you have to make sure you take care of yourself. You can't, you know, be the Dutch boy for too long. Otherwise you will fall down. And I know that if I push myself too hard, it ends up in bad spasticity, and that is not pleasant, not fun. It hurts like the dickens. You know, it's like, some, you know, people, you know, we don't know about people with ALS with pain. It freaking hurts. Um, when you're not being able to move and you're, you lose weight, bone on um, skin, that can hurt. But when your nervous system is um, reacting to um, exhaustion and being pushed, you know, if you have a UTI, it's a bad news because that spasticity, ugh. Um, you know, it's like the physical relations, I don't notice as much and I notice that once the muscles get kind of weak, you don't really see it. My, um, I can still move some of my toes on my left foot, which is, you know, something that um, was weakening and being on the Koya improved. I've, I, have you ever heard of something like that? So I've been off of it for June, it, like almost what five months almost being off of it four and a half months so I do have some long-lasting um, results that are still good I know that uh, the second phase will be starting soon hopefully it gets passed by the our, um, regulatory board um, and the money is raised to be able to have other people have it because, it, you know, I hope it's not too expensive and Medicare covers it, but I think it's an actual treatment and that's a rarity in ALS. Well, at least for people that have seen on Order 72. The other ones did well too. I did the best. But for those of us that are um, seen on Order 72, you know, that can affect people with FTD as well as people with ALS and possibly those that may have um, related to Parkinson's disease. So there is hope. Always remember, even in the darkest times, there's always hope. So with that, I know, just a boring little talk, but with, <laughs> with that, I hope you find the beauty in your day and thank you so much for watching. You guys make a big difference and help me not feel so lonely. All right, guys, take care.